All right, this is just an intro, okay? So they're only asking you to write the expression. So here it is. It says, let F be this and G be this, okay? So there's your G, there's your F. Let R be the region enclosed by the graphs of F and G and lines two and five. Okay, so two and five are our boundaries. Uh, here's the region R and, and it's the base of a solid. It's the base of a solid. The cross section of the solid taken perpendicular to the x-axis is a rectangle. That's a rectangle. Okay, so you can't see the rectangle. You can only see the base. So we have to, to find our volume. We have to sum uh, the areas of the cross section. And because we are perpendicular to the x-axis, that tells us our our integral is going to be with respect to x okay is everybody still with me i'm taking this step by step slowly now i think in this picture it's really easy to see what our lower bound and our upper bounds are do you guys know what they are two and five okay we're going from two to five all right now we have to do the area now it says our cross sections are rectangles do you guys know how to find the area of a rectangle? Base times height. Okay, now that B and that H have to be written in terms of X because that's what our integral is for. So, 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 um, let's do the base first. Now I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna draw um, on a two dimensional surface. I'm gonna try to draw a three dimensional shape here. Do you guys see that rectangle popping off the page? Yeah. Okay. So, how do we find the length to that? How do we find the length of that? You're going to take this y value and this y value and subtract them. What is this y value? How would we find that y value? We would go uh, natural log of x plus 3. That's this guy. And then how would we find this y value? That is x divided by 2, or 1 half x, okay? So if we subtract these two formulas, that gives us this. That is the base. So now I'm going to replace that base with natural log of x plus 3 minus x over 2. That's the base. This whole thing is the base. That's this guy. All right, uh, so now we have to get our h. What's our what's our height? Is a rectangle whose base lies in r? That's the base, and we did that. And whose height is x over two? Oh, there you go, x over two. We don't have to do anything fancy for that one. So now this area is a function of x. Now I can take this and plug it into there. And that is how you would find the volume. All right, so what's our answer? It, it has it for you already. Which one? Is it A? Yeah, it's A.